Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I was not expecting to make this video, but here I am. I'm even in my pajamas just because I think this is some really important information that needs to get out there. I have so many people that are asking, how do I get into biomed? I've got a technical background, or I may not have such a technical background, but I've got a degree in this, this, or this. How do I get into biomed? Well, let me tell you, there are certain gateways into biomed to getting uh, like a really good hospital job or a really notable vendor job. And these gateways are gonna be your third party repair companies. There's all sorts of companies that go out there, they fix, let's say ultrasounds, they fix ultrasound um, probes. There's people that fix things like uh, oxygen blenders, all sorts of stuff. And there's many of these companies. Just go into Google Maps and type in medical equipment. There's a lot of people that sell used medical equipment. They buy it off of auction sites, they sell it, they refurb it, clean it out, do stuff like that. This stuff is all over the place. Every single city has it. Look these guys up. And even if you have to volunteer or just help out, some of these companies will let you do it. Another pathway for you would be not just your um, third party repair, but also OEM repair. You've got major vendors at every single city. I'm talking your Stryker, your Hillrom, uh, getting in, fixing some hospital beds, getting an entry level job, fixing hospital beds, fixing nurse call systems for like a company like Hillrom, Covidian. There's so many companies out there that, that fix medical equipment on the spot, Steris. I mean, I could go on and on and on. These companies are out there. Every single city has a local repair vendor. Carl Zeiss, you know, all sorts of companies, man. So look up medical equipment providers or contact your biomeds. Contact biomeds at local hospitals and say, hey, do you have any local vendor contact info? So guys, uh, there, there's lots of avenues to get into biomed. If you don't have a technical background in biomed, but you have technical background in something, reach out to these companies and and what I highly suggest for you guys is go ahead and make dress professionally like get in a nice quiet environment where you and a camera can just get your thoughts out there dress professionally and make a very short and sweet bio now just say for instance hi everyone my name is Justin Barber I've been a biomed for 17 years first nine and a half years I was in the United States Air Force where I moved around the world and I worked for various medical institutions and then I came into the civilian sector blew my mind worked for several hospitals I've accelerated in every single position that I've been in I specialize in operating rooms I've done some imaging work I've done various programs I've had various trainings and I'm very motivated I'm looking for my next team I'm looking for my next opportunity there you go that's a short bio and that's all it takes guys so just make a short bio post it on your LinkedIn profile and then go in the LinkedIn and start searching for biomeds search for clinical engineers clinical engineering directors search for executives search for uh, sales reps there's all these medical personnel that will help you get to where you need to go they might know somebody I mean trust me LinkedIn is your gateway. You've never had access to people like this before, ever. So treat LinkedIn like it's your gateway to a better you. So update your profile, keep your resume updated on LinkedIn, and and maintain your professional conduct on there. Some some people are starting to post some pretty questionable stuff. Maintain your press your professional conduct on LinkedIn. Create a bio video and either post it on YouTube. You can post it on YouTube as private and then just use that YouTube link and paste it into your profile on LinkedIn. That way there they have a video of you. You want to sell it. Sell you. Personify yourself. A lot of people might submit for jobs and they'll just have a resume. You can put on the bottom of your resume, check out my LinkedIn profile or contact those people. If you find out that you know Roper Hospital or St. Luke Hospital or something, has a job opening go on LinkedIn go in there and start look up you know director of clinical engineering st. Luke Hospital or Roper Hospital or wherever 
look up biomeds i before i moved to houston i contacted biomeds from various institutions around houston and i wanted to get their professional opinion on what it's like working for this place where do you guys park what type of work order cmms system do you use how's the management there how easy is it to buy parts are they always on you about using overtime these are good questions to ask people that are currently working in the career field so go out there guys develop your linkedin profile and use it it's a tool and it's such an excellent tool guys so thanks for watching i hope this answers some of you guys' questions because i've had many many people and i'd say in the last four or five months that and i feel like i'm just repeating myself so let's just make a video and let's just express how we really feel about it use linkedin and go ahead and keep your resume updated okay guys thanks for watching